what age should I go for egg freezing? Uh, and what is the approximate cost and the best place to consider this option is Saima, some, an option over here. I'm unmarried and 31 and want to look at all the process. Is it legal for someone who's single? Uh, yes, it is, okay. just very much. Uh, I think, fortunately, uh, uh, as far as females are concerned, single women can have a child. It only, they only need a sperm. Mm. Uh, whereas, uh, as far as males, single males, they need a sperm, uh, egg and the uterus. Yes. <laughs> so getting both that is difficult. Yeah. So, uh, single women can uh, have a child. Leave alone egg freezing, they can have a child with donor sperm. Yes. Uh, it is a legal treatment okay. that they can follow. Now, with regards to egg freezing, I would say an ideal age to do that. See, the best egg quality is somewhere between less than 30, 32 years. 30, 32 years. Yeah, 30, it's less than 32 years is the best equality. Okay. After that, it will keep coming down. But then the major challenge is a lot of people are not thinking Maybe. about egg freezing when they are 30, 32. So I would say 34, 35, again, we can look at that as a relatively better age, age before which they can freeze their okay. eggs. Otherwise, egg freezing is option. Nowadays, egg freezing, see, uh, it is not a technology that social egg freezing the basic idea that you want to freeze your eggs for a later use of yours. That is still just catching up in, in India, which is, otherwise it's very popular in, in the abroad and I think it's picking up quite well in the metros. Yes. Uh, here we do have a couple of patients, but not to the tune of what we see there or what is reported from the metros like, like Delhi, Bombay, where they have a lot of these women who go in for oocyte freezing. Oh, there is? Yeah, yeah. There the number of, because there we have more women uh, individual professionals who probably are well aware. There are companies around the world who actually offer oocyte freezing as a part of an incentive mm. to the doctors, just like uh, Apple. Apple does that for its employees. Egg freezing is a part of their incentive that they give. But that's so, brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, because uh, I think it is, it is it's a very uh, tactical move in the sense that they can have them work throughout mm -hmm. that they don't want them to go for maternity to look after the child yeah. because getting pregnant is just not about getting pregnant see um, i think uh, there's a very interesting interview by indra nori that your 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 professional career and your your maternal this thing unfortunately are at the same time so there is some compromise on either of the one that you want to. Absolutely. <laughs> so Absolutely. The timing so <laughs> is always, yeah. always wrong. Yeah. So that is the exact time that you are actually doing very well, very in your well professionally. In your care, professionally. Yeah. And then at that point of time, you are actually your effort to get pregnant, going through that pregnancy, having a toddler, bringing up a child is not a small thing. Yes, it is. So, so that, that is a major uh, pressure on a lot of these yeah, uh, it's a commitment, people. Yeah. So for them, if they have these people, they know that their eggs are safe and they're frozen and kept. They'll tend to work much longer. Probably, yes. I think that's the whole idea. But yes, egg freezing. Uh, but one genuine use of egg freezing. I wouldn't say this is not genuine, but otherwise, very uh, very genuine re reason for egg freezing is especially in cancer patients. They realize that they have some form of cancer. They need to go in for chemotherapy. Because any kind of chemotherapy, breast or whatever, any kind of radiotherapy, chemotherapy and all those things can actually cause, reduce oocyte. Number of eggs are reduced yes, because of that. Yes, yes, so okay. that is a very genuine and a very definite reason to freeze their eggs okay. before they do go the treatment. Even a lot of people don't know about it. It, it is, um, it is um, um, being, the, I think, the, 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 I think the oocyte cryopreservation or um, I, it's got a very specific word. I, I, I don't remember at this point of time. Like, uh, cancer patients freezing their gametes like uh, 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 I, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that, that particular word so especially in men or boys who who are having some found to have some cancer they're going for chemotherapy radiotherapy they end up coming and giving the sperm freezing them we have so many number of that samples with us mm. and uh, similarly oocyte cryopreservation when females are going the uh, undergoing this treatment we freeze their eggs before they go for a chemotherapy so that once the chemotherapy is over, whether it is male or female, we will see if their eggs formation is still okay. If things are still okay, we don't really need to keep it frozen again. But then if something happens to the oocyte following the chemotherapy, yes. we can always rely on, rely on the backup. So that is a very important uh, reason to use oocyte cryopreservation. That is important because you don't know about health factors, correct, right? You correct, can't predict that. Yeah. Because unlike earlier, your life expectancy is increased 
following all these diseases you end up you know that you end up doing a chemotherapy you end up doing a lot of these surgeries and things like that you are able to survive much longer so when you are able to survive much longer your opportunity to become mother or opportunity to become a father is always there so you can always freeze the gametes sperms or eggs and i don't know if you are aware we had a very interesting case there is a boy who came in with cancer we uh, we froze the sperm and uh, another 6 or 7 months down the lane the parents came in asking for the sperm okay boy died they said that they want to use that sperm to have they will they said they will get another wife and they but we were not sure whether that is something that is possible under the law mm-hmm. and we said that see we said we understand your your emotions, mental emotional yeah. status but then i said as long as you can give me an order from the court we will not fight against it in the court as long as you give me a permission from the court that i i hand over the sperm to you i'll do it but i will not fight against you yes. saying that i will not say that no i should not give it to the person mm. and actually the court ruled in their favor and actually what happened is they got the sperm now but then what do they do with that sperm now they need to have a wife now they don't have a wife they they should get an oocyte uh, they should get a surrogate mother and they are very poor patients but then there so much of desire to make sure that their son lives with that sperm that was frozen was so much deep and actually i have kept that sperm here free for them and i'm sure that i don't know whether they will i'm i'm really doubt whether they will ever be able to come back and utilize that sperm for getting them because we need again a donor egg we need a surrogate mother which are all very There's expensive all other process to it all the process but then which is a very expensive process and, and i'm sure they were not able to afford it yes. it was it was made into a movie by i think sangeet shivan and, and it was really? quite yeah, it, it, it did it was i think it was um, uh, it was covered in the new york times as where sangeet shivan read about it and he came and he took a interview and then he made that movie but i'm just trying to tell you like these are how things in world work in when you're talking about oocyte because we are always focused majorly on that social egg freezing social egg freezing is like just for ourselves we are freezing it but yes that is important i'm not saying it's not important but there are so 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 many other important reasons Factors to freeze to it, yeah. eggs yeah. social egg freezing like i said yes um, 30 32 years below is the most ideal age if you could tell me but uh, yes let's look at 34 35 beyond 35 again the oocyte quality becomes lesser yeah. i would rather say get married faster and have a try and have a child is probably my advice to them Uh, but You're yes we very much like my mother right <laughs> now doctor <laughs> no, no, that's what a lot of my friends are like kind of I people know, who I are understand. not in my field yes. they always like they see me they run around like kind of my <laughs> classmates who don't have children at this point and i say like they're like my age guys and females are also like 2 3 years and i said what are you doing is you, you roaming around without sure. doing anything or i said see, uh, see see the thing is that you realize that see whether it is there hesitates to ask you for help because it's not that it's not about the money or we are ready to help anybody who needs that opportunity to understand see it's not about doing the treatment sometimes you need to tell them the right way it is done and do it wherever it is <coughs> the knowledge is the, not there that's not, lacking see, right see, yeah that's what that people are not aware of these possibilities yes. now a lot of times when i said the sperm freezing and things like that you know how many people have done chemotherapy without freezing the sperm and lost their full sperm yes because that they did not know see at that point of time they are not in the mental uh, this thing that realize that they have a cancer they have to go to a chemo they are not thinking about these things they are not thinking about the future, future. they are thinking about now but then once as a doctor or somebody as their oncologist or somebody who kind of tell them that so that it's picking up like said still we do end up getting a lot of patients but still i feel there are still a lot of patients who are missed who are not freezing the sperm or not freezing their egg so like i said 30 32 years the later i wouldn't say no but again the oocyte quality diminishes as your age goes by so 25 plus you would say is a great uh, yeah, i mean 25 see now like say if you ask me 25 to 30 i would rather say don't be in a hurry to free sex yeah. because i did have uh, two young girls who came up at when she they were 29 or something like that mm-hmm. i said i said when are you planning to get married or like, how is that in your agenda like uh, like another one or two years and then i said fine you you get married and but you but what about people who do not want to settle down because there are so many who don't um 
the, the requirement of having a partner, settling down, uh, in marriage-wise, you know, that's not something, lifestyle is definitely changing right now. People's perception about marriage is changing right now. You're seeing a lot of youngsters, even ladies who are 30 plus, they just want to have a live-in partner. So if they are 25 and they've got that mindset, they can't come and freeze. Yeah, we can. Yeah. See, I'm not saying that we should we not do it. But I would always say if they, like because again 25 to 28 and all is still a little younger and probably they are not in the right frame of mind at that point would decide. So what I always tell them is that you th see, we can always do it. There's no harm in doing it. Yeah. There's no harm. Yeah. It, it can be done. But whether you really need it is the question. Uh, whether now that you are, if you, she's at 25 and she's getting at 28, she's getting married and she's planning to have a child. Mm. Then uh, actually, that yeah, true. Uh, the, but the, the option is there. The option is always there. Yeah, I, I wouldn't deny that option to anybody. Always somebody comes and ask them, like, what is what? See, see, it's like, see, I'm not talking in a very commercial point of view. Like, see, more like a counselling point, point of view. I always tell them that, see, are you sure you want? The only people I'm a little worried about who, who kind of delay is the people with endometriosis and all. Yes. I said, please get married, please have a child <laughs> first, <laughs> later we can think about So, they also have this option of freezing Yes, then, they, right? they have, yes, they have yeah. this option so of freezing. So, doctor, what's the process? I mean, is this very difficult? Or? Um, see, I would say it is very similar to your regular stimulation. Is it? It, it is. It, you have to go through this whole process of a regular IVF stimulation that you, because the whole idea is to produce more number of eggs. Mm -hmm. Take it, take those eggs and freeze them. Now, I told you that initial calculation that you get 10, 15 of it, 5, 8, 9 are good quality, then 8, 9 will become embryos, then 5, 6 will be yes. top quality embryos. So, we will have to look at say 10, 12 eggs and we have to freeze them. So, that we know that ultimately when you are doing a treatment for them, yes. we at least have 5, 6 or 4, yeah. 5 embryos. Yeah. So, and like I said, uh, USAI today it is reasonably more, more commonly done. Earlier, it is more technically challenging to do an USAI. Uh, freezing. So, whenever given a choice, we will always uh, freeze embryos because like I was, uh, we were talking, uh, when you have a husband for sure and you know that this is the person with whom I want to have a child, at that point of time, yes, having that sperm and making it an embryo and freezing it is always much stabler than just freezing an oocyte. Mm. But if you are not sure of your husband, if you are not sure of the person whom with whom you want to have a child with, at that point of time, freezing an oocyte is an option. Okay, and the process is how long actually? It is actually till the, the, the it, I think goal. almost similar to like say, like I said, depending on the protocol that we follow, uh, some people we can even start it on the second or third day of the cycle, mm -hmm. daily injections, mm -hmm. once the eggs are ready, take it out, mm -hmm. just like how we are doing the IVF, take the egg out, freeze it instead of doing anything. And how long can you freeze? Uh, it can be frozen for any number of years. Really? All these uh, All these freezing, see the thing is that as long as we are able to maintain that uh, freeze uh, that uh, that that cylinder and the liquid nitrogen and things like that. That that work is done. Okay. Um, it ca whether you freeze it for one month, you freeze it for ten years, or you freeze it for fifteen years, it does not. So you can actually freeze it for long term. But the ICMR, the uh, Indian Council of Medical Research, is now coming up saying that you cannot freeze these gametes. Gametes are embryos beyond like say ten years or seven or ten years. So it's still not fully come in. Mm -hmm. But I think we can easily. There's no technically you can freeze it for any number of years as long as you're able to maintain and it. This is something that is facilities available at. Yes, Sanity. yes, yes. It is very available. And it's what very is much available. the approximate cost of this? Your regular stimulation and is that XC charges and all will not be there. Otherwise, like say I think around 60, 65 thousand rupees means we are removing that XC charges, all those things. We will be freezing those embryos and keeping plus the medicines and all those things. So about I would say somewhere around 1, 1 1.5, less than one, between 1 and 1.5. 1 and 1.5. Yes. Is this including the fee of every yearly? Uh, uh, no, every yearly we have an additional charge because we need every to keep, year to correct, keep freezing. Okay. Uh, freezing. It means, okay. Uh, but then that will be very, very, uh, would not be very uh, lump sum amount like say 50, 60,000 rupees for a whole year. It will be something like that. that 50, 60,000 rupees per, per, year, per, year. Year, per year. And what happens when that is not put to good use? Uh, see, the only, ch only option is we give that decision to the patient as to whether we need to discard it mm. or later on see like I said earlier also just because they have frozen eggs does not mean that they get married and they run coming to us and do an IVF with that frozen eggs. They can always try normally mm. see if things happen simply. If not they reach a point that they have to do an IVF at that point of time they come we can take these eggs you don't have to stimulate them again yeah, because we already have this thing with You're us right. you don't have to stimulate them again. 
and um, use those eggs. So you have much younger eggs of theirs. So the possibility of getting pregnant will be much higher than when they are older. And is there any legal matter? No, like if it is, it is a, someone who is a citizen from... You know, no, it, that, for egg freezing, there is no, no, nothing. nothing. No. Only a law as of now is for pertaining to surrogacy. We cannot use uh, surrogacy for any foreign patients or people who are uh, not Indian citizens. So NRA is can, but I think OCI or all those people cannot use surrogacy. Okay. But otherwise, infertile treatment per se, we can do it for any person wherever, whichever country they come from.